Arthritis definitely can have a genetic component for some forms of arthritis, especially in rheumatoid arthritis, HLA B27 associated arthritis, and psoriatic arthritis. The medical literature shows that there are certain genes that increase the risk of development of those diseases. That being said, just because a family member has one of those diseases does not guarantee that the rest of the family will have them too. First of all, we don't inherit all of our genes directly from one family member. It is definitely a mixture from both parents. In addition, when people have the, these genes for arthritis, it doesn't guarantee that we'll get arthritis because there are environmental factors that must interact with the genes to somehow create these diseases. We don't know exactly how the environmental factors and the different genes interact or lead to the process that causes the development of an inflammatory arthritis. For example, you can have a set of identical twins who have the exact same genes, and one of them may get rheumatoid arthritis and the other one may not get rheumatoid arthritis. For the most strongly associated gene that has been found to be associated with rheumatoid arthritis, there is an eight times increased risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis. That being said, if rheumatoid arthritis is seen in 1% of the population, you have an eight times higher risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis if you have the strongest gene associated with rheumatoid arthritis, which still gives you an over 90% chance of not developing rheumatoid arthritis. Therefore, for people who have family members who have these types of arthritis, it is important to be cognizant of the idea that you may be at increased risk for developing rheumatoid arthritis or another inflammatory arthritis, but it does not mean that you are guaranteed to get such conditions.